Even though this next part in in the main wing, oh, we're going in automatically. Opening the door with our shotgun in our hand. We look just suited up for heavy combat here, but we got a call first. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Sneak into the hangar. <laughs> Have you heard? The completed phase two Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. I, I forgot about her. For Shit. now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. We know how to destroy Yo, it. Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. Yeah, we know. You know there's four tanks in there, right? Yes. You have to put C3 on all four of them. Okay. To plan a C3 charge, uh, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon press the button weapon while button. standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. Yeah. But, uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. I'll try not to. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shot. Uh. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. Right. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. That's pretty smart. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Alrighty. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. Oh, I was planning on sticking around. The rest is up to you. Good luck, Feel pal. Yeah, We're cheers, dude. On you, snake. Well, that's, that's a... That's a shock. They're counting on me. Wow, not used to that sensation. Ah, oh, right, okay. And yes, there are actually scientist-type engineer people. I mean, maybe they're not scientists, which is why you've said there's no scientists here, because they're not wearing white coats, but they're still civilians. And they will prove to be a pain in the ass, like this dude up there as well. I usually like to just snipe the guards in here from up there and cause a bit of chaos, because I'm really shit at sneaking around this place. And I'm thinking that's probably what I'm going to end up doing now. So, of course, sneaking around with a shotgun in my hand probably isn't a good way to do it. So let's just get rid of that for now, and the rifle, which I'm going to need more ammo for. Keep my pistols, and... Ooh. I, I'll, I'll equip the SDV, SDV, SVD. <sighs> Alrighty. Now, this sneaking suit isn't very well camoed. So if I can just crawl up on this dude, trank him. And then try and just take out as many people as possible, and then I can go searching for the tanks. That's the plan, anyway. And yes, we mustn't, mustn't, mustn't shoot the tanks. Because they will blow up. Because they're full of liquid fuel. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the guards can see me when I'm up here, if I'm not camoed. So I might just get rid of this sneaking suit for now. And just put it back on when shit hits the fan, which it, you know, invariably will do. So, what's the best camo in here that I can use? It's looking leaf. Ooh, olive drab is actually better. Not worn this in ages. Jeez. And for the face, I think we're okay. Jolly good. What time is it now? I just, I just really don't want to miss this snooker. I love the snooker. Yeah. Oh, and any anyone who has seen the new Dark Knight Rises trailer and appreciates how fucking awesome it looks. Just, uh, you know, know that I'm a big fan of it. I've been watching it non-stop, pretty much. I think I need help, actually, the amount of times I've watched it. Ooh, is this a ration? You bet your ass it is. 35% oh, camo, that's terrible. And, of course, the sniper isn't silenced. If I had the, uh, the end sniper rifle, this would be much, much easier, but, sadly, that ain't the case. 
Is there a guard below me? Yes, there is. Can I trank him somehow? Can I see enough of him? Can't even see his head yet. There it is. Right. Good night. That's one of them down. Just want to take out as many of these as possible. He, including these civilians, who really do get on my nerves, these engineer-type worker people. That's another one down. Get rid of this dude. If he would just stand still, that'd be awesome. But he's not going to stand still. Because he's busy, you know, working and shit. Right, am I going to get him from here? Oh, shot, Snake. Shot, sir. There's a guard all the way over there. And I can't see anyone else at the moment. So I shall just... Um, should I crawl along here again just to be safe? I'm really not sure if they can see me up here. Probably not in my luck they can. But at least I've put some people to sleep. I can see another worker dude to the left there, one to the right, and a guard. If I get rid of the guard, that would make me feel a lot safer. But I can't. Oh, this is not going to go well. I just know I'm going to fuck up the shot. Oh, bingo! Damn. Some nice headshots here. And dude up there. But I'm... Yeah, oh, he's too far away, surely. I really don't want to risk alerting anyone. So I'm going to actually go down. And try and get close up on these remaining dudes. And then start planting some C4. Nice shortcut there. Any items under the stairs? Ooh. Oh, single uh, action army bullets. We're already full. Alrighty. Just need to keep me wits about me here. I do not want to be seen. Hmm. Anyone down there? No, there's a dude. Oh, a dude right next to the damn tank. I would like to be a bit quick here, because you never know when these dudes are going to wake up. And that wouldn't be good, and I'm only 60% camo here, 65 when I'm still. That's not fantastic. I would love it for this dude to move away from that tank, though, before I try shooting him. Otherwise, I... Oh. Right. Okay. That's another one down. That was good. I like that shot. That worked. Still that dude up there, though. I just want to try and get everyone. There's another guard. Could be a bit tricky to get. If I'm not careful. Which I'm going to try and be. Right, he stood still, he stood still. Yes. Right then. I'm going to start getting these tanks, I think. I know there's going to be another few workers around here somewhere, and there's one above there. But hopefully, he won't see me do this. Now, have I got the... I haven't got the C4 equipped. I should really equip it, shouldn't I? do 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 Where's the C3? Did I call it C3 before, or did I call it C4? So used to C4 and MGS, it's weird. Alright, then how do I do this? Let's not fuck up. There we go. Casually just plant it there. That's fine. Try and go back out. Could use... Uh, another suppressor. But I'm just going to have to make do with this one until it breaks. Okay, where's the next Tankerunio? That's one, Dan. Where is the other three? And if I start running around like a madman, am I going to get spotted by some random engineer? That's usually what happens. And these people are going to wake up. Because that dude's already on two Zs. This isn't good. I'm just going to keep on putting him to sleep, I think. Just to be safe. And that's my suppressor gone, so I need to really put another one on. Now I'm going to run up these steps, and, uh, oh my god, I'm getting so tense, I'm starting to sweat. He's on two zeds. Just keep on putting him to sleep. Topping him up, as I like to call it. 
Just give him a little top up. It, it doesn't. I suppose it is kind of wasting uh, darts, but oh, there's another dude around there. Someone that has evaded me thus far. Hopefully, he won't do this time. Let's get nice and close, ish. Try and shoot him in the face, like so. There's an item over there. Any more guards? I see another tank. I'm just gonna go. Ooh, no way, man. No way. Good. Yes, you are seeing things. There is a guard there. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ooh, boy. Am I getting a little bit nervous now? Right. Let's just get these done. Let's get these planted. Oh, we got a call. We've only done two. Snake. Yeah. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. I was quick. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. I've also set up the escape route. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Alrighty, so that's uh another tank done. Where are the other ones? Oh, in fact, there's one right here, you dumbass. Alright, let's get this one planted, and then we shall be onto the last tank. Where is it, though? Oh, sweet Jesus. I just know I'm going to get spotted. Oh, here it is, though. We might have just done this. And, um, oh, shit. I'm just realising there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen after this, and I don't really want to be recording for too much longer. But we'll just see how it goes. I might have to just stop here at some point. But here we go. That is all of them planted. And that is the first time I think I've done that without being spotted in the tanker. Which kind of makes up for all the failure of being spotted actually sneaking into the place. Nearly. And this is the last charge. What's he going to shape it into? Is it going to be a penis? Is it going to be like Rob and just constantly obsessed with penises? Or... Nope, it's a butterfly. Well, you couldn't really have picked a much less manly shape, could you, hey snake? But oh. Epic throw. You know, it's just explosive, you know. <laughs> I don't think I'd risk doing that. Gotcha this time. Gotcha. Oh, he got it, yeah. He caught the butterfly. The inanimate clay butterfly made of explosives. And there we go. Snake's happy with himself. As he should be. Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Snake! <gasps> oh, bollocks. How the hell did he capture her so quick? Thought she was like out at the bridge. Oh, you're gonna disarm? No, you're not gonna take that apart. You're really losing your touch, you boss. So, we just saw the Sorrow uh, showing us like a, a time limit, which is the C4, before it goes off, I think. And we are... Well, I can now save the game, which is actually really good, because I'm going to end the recording here. And next time, we're going to see what's... what's you know, Snake's in a bit of trouble here. The boss is there, Ocelot's there, Vorgan's there, Eva's been captured, it seems. Not looking too, you know, bright a future, is it? So, 
we'll see what happens next time. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll uh, hopefully see more videos of this more frequently in the future. It's just, like I say, busy, busy, busy. I hope you enjoyed this, though, so see you all next time. Goodbye.